Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's delve into the twilight and see what we have to do. Oh, another one of these. This can't be good. Oh, so now there's three of them. No problem, right? Just as before in the last part, attack them just by Z-targeting, then jump at them with the A button and bite at them like crazy until they die one by one. Ah! Come back here! <laughs> Fine. I'll do it all myself. And wow, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> and I should be a little more careful, shouldn't I? Oh, boobers! Oh, good gravy. Hearts are nice. Divide and conquer. One at a time, get them away from each other if at all possible. You come here. Oh, that was bad timing. <laughs> if one is alive while the other ones are dead, they will revive the other ones, and that's the problem that you have right here. But in the meantime, just keep attacking them until something happens. I've noticed that. Now, she's going to teach you a new move, and this will pretty much let you kill these things with one hit without any trouble whatsoever. Get all three of them into the force field, and they will all die. Well, I should say all the remaining ones in the force field. You could just, like, kill the first one and then go after the last two or something like that on your own, but it's a lot easier to just go after three at once. Anyway, let's move on. This place is definitely very freaky. <laughs> Hello? I've definitely noticed that. I've been told that before. <laughs> I've been told that before as well. So now we get the Vessel of Light. We're able to now collect the Tears of Light. And we have to collect 15 of them to dispel the Twilight in this area. A lot of people hate these particular parts in this game, and I don't understand why. It's not that tedious and there's a little story attached to some of these tiers of light and there's also a puzzles attached to certain tiers of light so I always found it rather interesting to go through these myself so I don't have any trouble with these tiers of light portions whatsoever you'll see it gets marked on your map so apparently you have to use a lot I mean the last of your power to mark the spots on your map for I mean, for some reason I don't quite get that myself <laughs> I mean, I, don't, I only thought you would need a pen or something like that, but I guess not. Alright, sounds good. So as you can see on the map, there's a bunch of white dots on there. There's multiple... Um, they, I believe they're called shadow insects that hold them. They, they aren't just, like, strewn about. They're actually held by those, those electrical bugs like that there. This is a shadow Deku Baba. They go down just as easy as the regular Deku Baba. Just the shadow version of them. Now, you'll see that? You can't see them other than their sparkiness. But if you go into your senses mode, you can attack them and kill them like so. And they are the ones that hold the tears of light. Come on, come on. Make sure that you get all the... I mean, make sure that the white dots disappear from your map before you leave the area to make sure that you haven't missed something. Wait, let's, uh, I'll kill you first, just to make sure you don't attack me or something like that. Uh, what's, what's here? I would like to know, actually. What, why is it so hard to... Oh, heart. <laughs> I just figured as long as I see the sparkliness on the ground, they would, I might as well check it. 
All right, let's move on. There's a couple more coming up, I suppose. Oh, no, 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 And it goes behind the gate. As you can see, you can dig to go beyond the gate through there. But first, there's, there's a couple of them down this way. There are first ones... Uh, is it? No, wait, it's on the other side of the house, my mistake. You'll see when I get there. And Blue Rupee, I did not turn off the game this time uh, between recording sessions, so... I did not get the dialogue that tells me what a blue rupee is. And there's a lot of glowing spots that you can dig. I really should not mess around with these too much, because I'm going to waste so much time doing so. I've already probably wasted a lot of time doing so. Okay, now you see that shadow insect on there? Just attack the wall. It'll shake it right off. And then... There we go. See what I mean about there being a little puzzle attached to each of the tiers of light? That was another one. And did I not see these before? It doesn't take that long to dig for them, I suppose, but mm, it still feels rather cumbersome for a video. <laughs> so I'm sure you don't want to watch me dig the whole time. Let me go over here. Remember the inside of the oil guy's hut? Well, now there's something for us in there. Two tiers. What are you alerting me for? Oh. Oh, poop! Attack! Exterminate him! Then he's like... Whoa, what? They just died? I don't know. Uh, but he's not complaining, though. <laughs> anyway, that's all you need to do in here. Can I talk to you anymore? Uh, there's definitely some more outside. They aren't very dangerous bugs, obviously. They could probably give you a zap, but that uh, I don't think you would die from that zap unless you're really sensitive to electric electricity or something like that. <laughs> so I think I got all of them there, so let's move on. Use our senses to... What's this? What is this? Why? Who buries stuff in front of a sign? Ooh, blue rupee. Don't need the hearts. And dig through here. I don't know if you ever noticed that hole in the fence before, but yep, that's there. Attack! 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 And... Come on. Give me. Thank you. Any more white dots? No? Okay, let's move on. That map is like your checklist of sorts of certain parts of it, so that you never miss a thing. Now over here is something rather interesting. In the Lantern Cave, if you use your senses and then dig here, you can skip pretty much the entire cave. There isn't anything for you here anyway, so you might as well do so. And you pop out on this side. It's a little hidden little secret. I don't know if you can actually dig your way back though, actually. Well, unless you, you know, walk your way back, but... Uh, I guess you can. Anyway, go back out. Well, not out. You go out the other side. And now, in this part of the woods, there's quite a change. There's this poison fog or mists around the ground here. If you go into it, you will, like, I guess, die. But at the same time, you don't die. <laughs> just watch. It, it just, like, transports you out here. It doesn't do anything... What now? What now, you say? Well, we go to the left. First, there's a couple of shadow insects. Boop. And I believe you have to attack these from the ground by jumping at them with the A button while Z-targeting. Eh. Eh. I got the tear. <laughs> Come on, get down low enough for me to attack. There we go. They sometimes fly too high for you to attack them, but they occasionally go back down to the ground to attack you, which is your cue to attack them. Mm, just hearts, really? Well, fine. Well, over here is a way across. You can't really see it, but she'll guide you. Yeah, so always look for like little ledges and stuff like that for anything that might be 
you know, that you could that you could get Midna to pop out from and use her to get across, stuff like that. Uh, don't need that. Over here is yet another one. These are Shadow Keys. But I, I've actually said that before, haven't I? Well, whatever. Just don't let them hit you in the air, that would kind of suck. <laughs> More Shadow Insects. One flying, two on the ground. Hey, don't! Come on! <laughs> it should not be this problematic. Yeah! There we go. Not taking any hits from them, it's just that they're kind of a waste of... Is that, I mean, they waste time when they stay up in the, in the air like that for so long. Anyway, moving on. Wah! <laughs> Wah! Jump from place to place really quickly here, otherwise you'll be attacked by the Dek Shadow Deku Babas. Voila! Over here, you gotta time your jump with that pendulum-like thing. Over here, keep just keep moving. Really easy to get across. Voila! Now these are a new kind of shadow insect. Well, it's not a new kind, but they are inside the ground. And was, I got two of them on the same dig. Really? Wow! <laughs> but in this case, you have to dig where the shadows are, and you can only see where those shadows are when you when you're sensing it. Wow! Get over there we go <laughs> squirmy critter it's very rare that you can get both of them at the same time like that so that was pretty cool um two more to go and that they are at the end of the forest path here so let's move on but first what is behind here yellow rupee that i knew what it did <laughs> Yeah, I haven't collected a yellow rupee since the last game reset. Well, not reset, uh, game power off. Oh, poop. Alright, now, now that you have your force field thing by holding the B button, these guys are a complete and utter pushover. I mean, they were pretty easy before if you just divided and conquered them, but now they are just a joke. <laughs> One hit kills. And now this is the thing that I mentioned before that wasn't here before, the shadow beings, I mean the shadow beasts probably brought it over here before. A random bridge just thrown over here, but remember this bridge. Remember it, it is important. I always found that funny, it's just like randomly thrown there and whatnot. And our bird buddy is not here unfortunately, not even as a spirit. How sad. Uh, anything around this area that I... Might be of interest. I hear enemies. You're hardly an enemy. <laughs> You're just like there, taunting me, but not really doing anything. Anyway, the last two shadow insects are right up here. And also, the spirit of a monkey. Can I talk to you when you're like all panicky? Well, I can, but you're not gonna say too much, I suppose. Tear, tear, gimme! I'll just attack this one. Butt shaken! Clearly this game is not kid friendly because it's got monkey nudity all over the place. This monkey seems to have some insight. Anyway, collect the last two tiers. And clear the twilight. Woo! Ah, so beautiful. See, I just don't see why people have a problem with those segments. They aren't that bad. <laughs> As you've seen, there's a little bit of something for each of them. Like, a, a little bit of something for each of those uh, tiers of light that you had to figure out. This also restored... this spirit of light. 
I believe its name is Pharaon. Hence the term Pharaon Woods. Well, you should have done a better job of it. <laughs> I mean, you got bested by a few shadow beasts? Come on, those guys are pushovers. Gotta remember to click through this dialogue a little bit faster because they, uh, the spirits here talk really slowly. It could also be whatever you made your character's name at the beginning of the game. That'll change depending on uh, uh, what you made it, of course. Dramatic camera cuts! Guess what we have to do? So that's where we have to go next, the Forest Temple. And that's what I intend on doing. There's a little bit more to get back to there as a human, because as you know, when you were Wolf Link, you were able to dig past that gate. But as Human Link, well, Normal Link, I should say, uh, the gate is locked and you won't be able to pass by it quite as easily. Why, yes I do. Perhaps, perhaps not. Let's go see. So, now you take the normal path through the forest as before. And why aren't you alerting me? Yeah... Why are you being Navi? <laughs> nah, uh, Midna is definitely not Navi. I mean, she's similar to Navi, but she does not have the annoying traits that Navi had. <laughs> that, you know, she would constantly point out the obvious and whatnot. Alright, so now talk to the oil guy. Yep. I mean, yep. Why, yes I do! And he's the guy that gives you the key to open the gate. He also gives you something else, and this is why I wanted 100 rupees. Now when he says a bottle full of lantern oil, he means lantern oil plus a bottle. So this is your second bottle. Woohoo! Bottles in Zelda? are awesome! Remember that! Now, if you'll look in your inventory, you'll notice that you've got your second bottle with the lantern oil. Very nice! So let's get out of here, and 
I still don't quite get it. I think you should be able to... I mean, I would think that you would get a prize if you were to light these... torches or something, but I, I just never notice any sort of prize whatsoever. <laughs> anyway, let's put it away. Voila, and go through the cave. It'll probably be easier to go through this cave as uh, Wolf Link because of the fact that, you know, you can just dig right through the whole thing. But alas, we are no longer Wolf Link and do not have the benefits. Right, I probably should whip out my sword, though. Because I'm going to have to battle my way through here for the most part. Okay, maybe not for the most part. I'm not even going to bother with the lantern. It's light enough in here. Uh, I'm actually going to run out of lantern oil in the next area. You'll see what I mean. Uh, in just a second. I don't want to hit my face on the wall, I just want to move on. <laughs> now, how do you cross this poisonous fog as a regular Link? You pull out your lantern and... Ah! This monkey will sort of do it for you. So yeah, follow the monkey. The monkey means well, believe me. <laughs> uh, so follow the monkey closely, but not don't get too far ahead, otherwise you'll get into the poisonous fog, and then you're gonna have to do this all over again. I don't understand why I have to do this all... I mean, I, why I have to rely on the monkey for this, and I don't even understand how the monkey was able to get through this fog, unless it was climbing through the trees or something like that. Or maybe it's just, a demon, it's just trying to demonstrate to me that the lantern clears this poisonous fog, or something. Oh, and note that uh, if you didn't get the heart piece in that cave over there at the upper left corner of the map, uh, you're going to have to do so with the lantern a little bit later. And attack and kill any enemy along the way, otherwise the monkey will not progress because it gets frightened. And that's pretty much all there is to this segment. It's, it's rather easy, there isn't a lot of enemies that get in your way. Although the monkey, I do think, takes a longer path than needs to to get through this forest. I don't quite understand why that is, <laughs> but it's just how things go, I suppose. Yeah, I, I see another keys along there. Surprisingly, the poisonous fog does not affect the wildlife in the area. I, I don't get that either. Perhaps I am questioning the game logic a little bit too much for my own good. And we all know what happens when that happens, so I'm just, you know, making a light observation. Not so much questioning the logic. I'm just trying to save the universe here. <laughs> I don't want to get into the fog. Come on. E. E. There we go. Come on, monkey, let's go. And a little bit more. I believe I could just run up there now, but I'm just gonna play it safe by staying behind it. I don't know why it's clearing the fog here, because there's nothing here. <laughs> And it throws your lantern on the ground to give it back, but it's completely ran out of oil. And that will happen no matter how much oil you have inside the lantern, which is kind of the reason why you want to get some oil either from here or that, um, um, that bird that's coming up in the next area. Wait, what am I doing there? I want to do that. I want to do that and then that and then fill up ye old lantern like that. And now that I'm out of oil, we can move on. Actually, I've got another bottle of oil, of course. Wait, what'll, what'll happen if I go over to that bird and, you know, the bird that I stole oil from now and see what he has to say about it? Needless to say, I'm ignoring those guys. Ah! <laughs> so I see he still attacks me. Maybe if I put Moolah back into the box, I'll be able to freely get oil once again. Okay, maybe not freely, but <laughs> you get the idea. And what is this glowing wolf? What? Oh 
Bring it! Ugh! Ow. The pain. Huh? Remember in the last part I said that it's kind of odd not being able to attack enemies while they're down on the ground? Well, we're about to be able to do that now. It's called the ending blow. Sounds good. Let's do this. Now when you get close, C target, A button. And that's how it's done. It is true, it's a very handy move because it can prevent enemies from coming back in groups and whatnot, you know, just by killing them off like so. And there's more skills that we can learn. Of course I'll cover them all, but only when I get to the areas that uh, I'll be able to get them, of course. Sounds good. So yeah, this spooky spirit here is actually quite the good guy. He looks pretty sinister, but nope, he's just here to help you out. Do not judge a book by its cover. Now, moving on through here to the Forest Temple. Yes, we are really close now. You can see the mark on the map there. It's that little purple mark there. And I'll kill you guys off. I'll test out my ending blow if I can. Actually, I don't think I'll be able to. Dang it! <laughs> well, whatever. Now, why do you want the, the lantern oil? Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's why you wanted to get that. So there's the Forest Temple. Man, this part has gone on for quite a while, so I'm going to end it off here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we start the first dungeon of the game! <laughs> okay, I am way too giddy. But I really am giddy. <laughs> Again, hope you enjoyed. See you then!